Welcome back to another episode of You Might Have That Dog In You, But You Can't Teach Your Old Dog New Tricks. You guys saw the title and you know why we're here, so let's get straight into the mess, my babies. So, the day of reckoning came and went. Deontay Wilder fought Joseph Parker, and all I can say is Wilder did not look good at all. And Parker pretty much looked the best he's ever looked. I don't want to turn this into a bash fest, but I am going to be honest. It started to seem like when Wilder fights his contemporaries, he all he's always going to fall short. He's been matched and moved along the way that would pretty much suit his style perfectly. Before this fight, I only saw one person pick Parker to win because he very much looked past it. He got knocked out by slow Joe Joyce. But even that wasn't a one-hitter quitter. Joyce broke him down up until the stoppage. So that just let us know that Parker is very durable. But he's never looked how he looked against Wilder. So all credit to him. So now we have people saying that Wilder lost because he's been inactive and because he's old. But those are just excuses. Wilder never had the best boxing ability and he wasn't really trying to improve those skills at all because he was having so much success with that right hand. He was knocking everyone out up until he got to Fury. Had he at least worked on some of his boxing skills, maybe he could have gotten those skills up to the point where he could bank some rounds so in the event that he didn't get the knockout, he could still at, at the very least make a case for winning on the cards. Because if you look back at it, like at the old fights that he won, he lost all the rounds leading up to the knockout. Like you would be really hard pressed to find very many clear, convincing rounds that he won, and that would have been a problem had he been fighting tougher competition early on. I will shoot him some bail there because he started boxing so late. And he essentially had to get the bulk of his amateur experience on the front half of his career. I think the real work Wilder has done was work extremely hard on his mythos and banking on the right, on the power. The power was real, though. I've seen it live in person. When he knocked out Hellenius, I was right there on the floor. And it sounded like a gunshot went off, like... But what happens when you can't land that punch? And now with this Parker win, we de have a definite roadmap on how to get around that right hand. I honestly can't say there's much more for Walter to do in the division. Even if he fights Joshua, if Joshua wins, y'all won't give him credit and there will be another excuse. Whenever any other fighter loses, they have to come out and say that the better man won. And Wilder has never done that. So honestly, I think he should retire. He doesn't have many options outside of Joshua that would make sense. I think he took a lot of damage in those Fury fights. And I don't think he has a team in place that can properly guide him to prevent him from having future damage. And finally, I don't think his heart is in it. So it's probably best for him to just bow out gracefully. I'm happy for the memories and all the moments, and he doesn't have anything to be ashamed of in retrospect. So yeah, if you made it this far, let me know what you thought of the fight, and let me know what you think Wilder should do next. As always, stay safe, stay dangerous, and stay messy. Messy!